In the past years, several African students in India have been beaten and arrested by the Indian police and some citizens. So it got me thinking, is India safe for Africans? Hello YouTube, I'm Lucky Sam, welcome to another exploring video. If it's your first time seeing this channel or seeing my video, I would like you to please subscribe to this channel to motivate me, make more entertaining and educative video for you guys. And don't forget to like this video, comment and share the link of this video with your friends. So from the title of this video, is India safe for foreign African students? So let me know in the comment section what you think about this question or simply is India safe for foreigners? Let me know in the comment section what you think. For me, I'm going to say India is safe and not safe for foreign African students or foreigners. I have reasons why I'm saying it's safe and it's not safe. So let me share my reasons with you. My reason number one, being a foreigner in another country for the first time is a whole new something. I hope you understand it's a whole new thing you know um it's going to take a while for you to get used of the environment the food the language and and so on so being a foreigner um without having you know a tourist guide or learning more about the country is going to be somehow difficult it's going to be unsafe for you and it's going to be difficult to cope around with people around you so it's going to be unsafe. You wouldn't know how to relate with things around because you are new and you have zero knowledge about the place you are in or you are going to. So it's going to be uncomfortable for you. So I would advise if you're going to another country or coming to India as a foreigner, you should know more about the place or you should take tourist you know, guides um, about the place before you go you shouldn't go for going sick you should have more knowledge about the place you're going and my reason number two is the people um if you go on google and then you you type or you say uh indians friendly google is going to tell you yes indians are one of the fastest you know people to make friends they are friendly no doubt about that they are very friendly and I know most of you will relate to that, like they're friendly, they always want to talk to you, especially if you're a foreigner. They want to like know, they want to know where you are you are from, like which country you are from, what if you're a student, they want to know the course you are doing, the school you are attending. They're friendly, they just want to talk to you and have uh, you know a conversation with you, no doubt about that. But not all Indians are friendly, and which is normal. You know it's it, it's normal there is nothing hundred percent in this world so i think when you have good there's going to be um, a small amount of bad in good and if you have bad there's going to be a small amount of bad um yeah so that's how it is and that's how the world is so there's nothing hundred percent uh in this world so not all indians are friendly but it hurts me when I see things like um, Indians, some Indians, sorry, some Indians mock at, you know, some Africans due to or because of their skin color, this skin color. You know, it's funny that they do that, but I just don't know why they, they, they do that. You know, I've been a victim before. I remember when I was in Amritsar. Um, I used to school in Amritsar. I just don't mention the school's name. I remember when I used to uh, school there, like, I've been a victim. People call you, you know, names that makes you feel uncomfortable because of you are black and um, it makes you feel, you know, unsafe. It makes you feel like you are not home. It doesn't make you feel like relaxed and, you know, focus on the purpose um, why you are in India. So that kind of you know little racism thing and that bad tax they give to some africans um i think it should stop and we are all humans and then if funny enough the people who you know um do that mock at some africans this they they have the same skin color with us like they are dark in complexion like us but they 
rather call us you know names i just don't want to mention say some names on this channel i want to mind my you know my language so that is it i think that is not right that is not good so please let we are all humans let's love ourselves but there are good ones here seriously would you guys believe if i tell you that i made a family here in india you know this family is great i'll just put them here the tripati family these people are great you know once in a while they just call and then check up on me if i'm good um if all is well if i'm not having issues with anyone they just want to know if i'm good like they are good people here so the moment you meet the good people like the first time meeting the good people you know that no this guy is good like a big shout out to you know the tripati family uh mr human shoot the party so they are good people they are good people in uh, in this country but um as i said earlier on there's nothing 100 percent in this world and number three is to try as much as possible to avoid bad companies and focus on the reason why you came to india so the reason to that is, you know, some African students end up losing focus on the reason why they came to India and engage in, you know, some bad acts and bad, you know, things in India, which, you know, tax the Africans bad, you know. My advice to anyone coming to India, like being a foreign African or a foreigner coming to India, that you should try not to engage in such acts because when the police get hold of you they treat you bad because um it has been a tag on on, on africans that um, we do drugs but that is not so some africans you know they do that thing and it has tagged us you know in in a bad way so please when you come to india try as much as possible not to en engage in that kind of act to try as much as possible to live you know a positive life and stay focused on the reason why you you, you are here in india because it's, it's hard not only india but everywhere you go to when you travel to the us to and anywhere you go try as much as possible to you know um live a good life okay live a positive life stay focused be ambitious whatever the main reason why you went to that country should you should try as much as possible to hit that target you shouldn't deviate to do you know bad acts you shouldn't deviate to you know engage in um, drugs and all kind of you know bad behaviors that is not going to help guys that is not going to help and it's really tagging um, um, the Africans bad and I, I want to address this too um, if you're an Indian or anyone who don't know about this, Africa is not a country, Africa is a continent and there are so many countries in Africa. So um, not all Africans, you know, goes into that kind of act. So please don't put us in a whole basket. But I know that um, um, one sport not, you know, spoils the rest of the nuts. So. <laughs> I don't know how it's being said properly, but I, I believe you understand me. So not all Africans are like that. They are good ones. They are good ones like me. <laughs> and my fourth reason is try and keep your documents safe and make sure they are valid. Okay, make sure your visa and your passport are valid. They are not expired. Like the the they don't expire make sure you update them anytime um, uh, it's, it's, it's about to expire just make sure you go to the foreign um, immigration and you go there you, you go there and then update you know you, you you apply for your visa extension and if your passport is about to you know expire you just go to your embassy and you make sure you get uh, an updated one because if you fail to do that you know there are some penalties you have to pay and if it's more than a certain um period of time like seven months six months they are really going to you know be hard on you when you go to the 
immigration, foreign immigration, or the police, they are really going to disturb you. So please make sure you update your documents and make sure you keep them safe. Make sure you don't use your documents to apply for loans um, or anything else because you're a student here. I have to make another video addressing this. Um, actually, um, what you don't have to do with your visa and your documents. I'm going to prepare another video for this, but please make sure you don't use your document for loans and don't use your document for things that are not supposed to be done. Just your documents are, are, are made for you because you're a student and you have to focus on that. You have to do, you have to focus on the reason why you came here. You just don't have to um, do things that um, in future you are going to be in trouble. Okay, just make sure you keep your documents safe. And and then the final reason is you have to subscribe to this channel and make sure you be a wonderful part of this family. <laughs> yeah, this is the fifth point. You have to subscribe to this channel, guys. You have to make sure like. We, we moved to 2k i've been sitting at 1.2 for the past month like three months now like guys we have to move to 2k we have to move like we have to move we have to move so share this video with your friends share this video with your loved ones um let them get educated and also remember at the end of every month i do giveaways on this channel so please subscribe you have to be a subscriber you have to share my videos, like, comment on my videos, and it will boost your chances in winning gifts on this channel. I'm Lucky Sam, and peace out.